Hi, I'm Gary Bembridge of Tips for Travellers. I am going to take you on a tour of probably the most beautiful, most luxurious ship that I've ever been on. It's Silver Seas, Silver Muse. I'm going to show you all the features of the ship, the facilities, the dining options, and importantly, of course, the suites as well. So let me talk about the different types of accommodation on board. The owner suite is the grandest of all. It's a one bedroom suite. It's very palatial. There's an adjoining veranda suite, so it can become a two bedroom suite. The grand suite, again, is another magnificent suite. It had a real wow factor. It's a one bedroom suite. It can be made into two. The silver suite is uh, also a one bedroom suite. Again, a suite I really liked it. Very comfortable suite and it's pretty magnificent. And then you have three classes of veranda suites. So you have a deluxe veranda suite, a superior and a classic. And the real difference between the veranda suites is really their location. So the deluxe veranda suite is midship in sort of the quietest part of the ship. So let's talk about places to eat. Now there is no main dining room on board the Silver Muse. Instead, there are eight dining venues, six of which are included within your fare. Plus, of course, there is 24 hour room service. So the first of the restaurants is a Silver Sea classic, La Terrazza. This is an Italian restaurant. It's open for breakfast, lunch and dinner. Uh, during the day, it has serving stations, it's self-help, and at night, it's an a la carte restaurant as well. Atlantide is a restaurant that I loved. It's a fish and steak restaurant serving incredible cuisine, beautiful fish, great steaks, and it's a great venue. Indochine is another great restaurant, and this serves Asian food, sort of fusion food. It has Thai food, it has Indian food. An innovative restaurant is a place called Silver Note, and this combines music and food. So it serves tapas type, and there is music there in the evening. It's a really fun and great concept. If you're looking for more informal dining, there's two places that are very popular. One is Hot Rocks. Hot Rocks in the evening does Silver Sea's famous hot lava stone cooking where you cook your own food outside. It's a great venue. During the day, it has much more casual uh, food, you know, burgers, that kind of stuff. Bacanapoli is a famous road in Naples, and this is the name of the pizza restaurant, which is an outdoor restaurant, serves incredible pizza. The pizzas here are absolutely magnificent. Now, the two restaurants which you have to pay a cover charge, which at the time of making this video are around $60 per person. And first of all, the French cuisine restaurant, which is called La Dame, which is a partnership with Relais and Chateau, which is across most of the Silver Sea ships. And the other one you have to pay a service charge for is Kai Seki. This is a Japanese restaurant. It serves sushi, and in the evenings, it also does teppanyaki. So let's talk about bars and lounges. Well, the most popular lounge bar on the ship is the Panorama Lounge. It's a quiet place during the day, but at night, it's really where everyone heads to after the show and after dinner, etc., for drinks and music. A very innovative and new thing to Silver Sea is the Arts Cafe. This particular venue, it showcases lots of eclectic art, has lots of art books, will actually have art lectures, has food served morning, lunchtime, and and into the evening when it has little chocolate treats. It's a beautiful, bright venue. Right next door to the Arts Cafe is a Silver Sea Classic, which is the Connoisseurs Lounge, where you can go and smoke. So quite unusually for cruise ships these days, there is a place inside where you can actually go and smoke. But at night, it's really for uh, cognac and cigars. Right up on the top of the ship overlooking the bow is Tours Observation Lounge. This is a great venue. There's a library there so you can take books out and have a read up there. It's beautiful during the day because you can just sit there with great views over the bow of the ship and the ocean. They also have a cheese and wine up there uh, around about nine o'clock at night if you're feeling a little bit peckish. Another place to go and hang out is actually in the atrium reception area. So in the area where you've got the reception, you've got the excursion desk, is a great big lounge area with a bar. It's a bit of a hub and it's great again in the evenings for meeting people and having drinks. So what else is there to do on board the ship? In terms of entertainment, there's the Venetian Lounge. This is the main show lounge where the Silver Sea Singers perform their shows, but also things like enrichment lectures are also held in this venue. In terms of outdoors activities, there's a fantastic pool deck up on deck nine uh, with actually a great size pool, lots of very comfortable chairs and lounges. There's a running track. There's also a spa and fitness center, which has uh, barbers, hairdressers, nail treatments as well. 
if you're looking for other things to do in the evening well there is a casino it's a relatively small casino there are uh, of course shops selling things like branded goods watches that kind of stuff as well there's also a card room which... now one thing that's quite unique on silver muse is there is actually an activity room designed for children so at peak periods when there are a lot of children on board there will be facilities and activities for kids so hopefully as we've gone around the ship you agreed with me that this is a magnificent ship it feels very luxurious it feels very plush it's a beautiful beautiful ship I absolutely loved it and hopefully this video tour has given you a good sense of what it is and hopefully it's helped you decide if this is a ship for you if you like the video I'd love it if you left a like for the video of course I'd love to hear comments what do you think about the ship but very importantly please subscribe to the Tips of Travelers YouTube channel Thank you.